Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the history of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I've already done the grunt work because sometimes building this girl can be really difficult. We're fixing to do a custom battle. And I think we're set for like 1925 versus the Japanese. We're back in our war plan orange. And this is my best guess for a USS Lexington. Uh, if she had been completed as a battle cruiser instead of uh, as the aircraft carrier she ended up being. So... The source I have, and I'm just using a quick and dirty online source, and I have no particular knowledge to help me sort this stuff out. So what I'm trying to do here is get her general characteristics, like primarily in how much she weighs, in the case of the way the game puts this, uh, get that right and uh, her armament as close as I can and her armor as close as I can and all the details that I don't understand we just uh, we just have to kind of uh, wing it uh, I hope that one day uh, when the game matures that we will have a library of pre-built ships or barring that uh, then at least a way of building a library of ships that you so you can design and not have to go through this every time. So real quick, the Lexington, uh, the source I shows uh, a deep load of 44,638 long tons. Well, there it is, 44,279. I don't think I can get that. That makes her really heavy. Really, you just got to max everything out. She's good for 33 knots. It takes long range maximum bulkheads to uh, to get this uh, weight right. Now she had turboelectric propulsion. They don't have that explicitly offered here, so I'm just going with geared turbines because actually geared turbines too. Um, that actually makes her that make her a little. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, she's a little heavier with uh, gear, geared turbines too. Geared turbines, or gear, geared turbines than geared turbines too. But, you know, let's just leave it alone for right now. Geared turbines, oil, balance boilers, the best auxiliary engines, the best shaft, best armor. Barbet 3. Barbet 4 gets her a little closer. Well, 726, she's a little bit, that's actually closer. I don't know. We're just, you know, piddling around here. Trying to get that number close to uh, the source I have. Anti-Torpedo 2, Triple Hull, Reinforced Bulkheads 2, Anti-Flood 2. Yeah, Anti-Flood 3 is just too much. Citadel 4. All or nothing actually lightens her up. Heavy shells with increased ammo, increased torpedo ammo, high TNT. The best of uh, turrets went with semi-auto reloading because I really question. Wow, 40, that really drops a lot of weight. I really don't have a clue what it ought to be, but auto reloading sounds not right. She ought to have 21-inch torpedoes, but in this period, 20 is all I can get. Uh, the best I could get in terms of range finding, and since there's no radar available, which I think is appropriate, uh, radio direction finding. Uh, approximating her armor as best I can, 7-inch belt, 5-inch deck uh, belt extended, 2.3-inch deck, oh, that's dangerous, and a 1.5-inch deck extended, so yeah, I worry about her being hooded. 12-inch conning tower, 11-inch turret, 6-inch turret top, and secondaries I don't have any information on. I'm just going to leave it at the default. So there she is. She's got, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Casemate guns, 3-inch guns. She's supposed to have, I think, like 4 to 8 of these. We can get 2. 
<laughs> 44, 745. She's too heavy. Anyway, I got my uh, casemate guns in. I got the little saluting guns in place. Uh, cage towers, big old funnels, four double 16 inch turrets on really big barbettes. That's the best balance I could get for her. I think she's beautiful, and I just wish I could save her so I didn't have to rebuild her every time I do this. But, hey, it's an alpha. She also has four, count them, four uh, underwater torpedo tubes. All right, that's not true. She's got six. She's supposed to have eight, but there's not enough mounts. And uh, although I guess just, you know, out of curiosity. Uh, could you, you know, you could, you could cheat, throw some there. Um, personally, I find that silly, but you could do that. I think we're going to take them off. So there we go. She's all built. We should be facing a uh, battle cruiser, uh, Japanese battle cruiser of the same period. Let's go play. Hey, it says click to continue, but before I click to continue, you know the drill. If you've been listening to me for the last six minutes talking about this and you have yet to subscribe, well, you know, you must be interested. Please consider subscribing. Ring that bell so you know when I post another video. Liking and sharing helps the channel a whole bunch, and all it takes is a little click. And leave me a comment. I've gotten some incredibly informed comments. The few comments I have uh, I have gotten on these videos. But people really know their stuff here. And uh, some of it's been very helpful. Like how I actually misnamed an entire video. <laughs> Let's go. What are we going to face today? I don't know, but she's behind us. And we are already lighting her up. Uh, let's go take a look at her. Yeah, enemy... Okay, so we've lost track of her. We saw her for a moment. Turn, baby, turn. Ah, she's pretty. You know, you can do this, and you do a shift control alt x and you ditch the interface and there you go just a beauty the screenshotting seems to do weird things to the game makes it flash control shift alt z, it's not x that's a x and because I don't want to spend the rest of the day finding these bad boys. Aha. Uh -huh. We found them again. Alright, stop. Let's go take a look at kind of cracks. Sometimes AIs... Well, she's not so silly, and I think she's... Uh, I, I faced one earlier this morning. I think it was a few years later. I think I put it to 1930, and I was facing all the modern uh, towers, and she had five or six triple turrets it was insane this old gal looks like she's got a bunch of six inch and oh a pile of what appears to be eight inch secondaries and six guns and a main battery plus a bunch of casemates she's actually looks to be older an older design that looks to be an older uh, hull all right back to the lex Let's go. Now she has a 1.7% chance to hit right now. I'm about half tempted to uh, tell her to cut that out. And I think with her closing on us like she is, I think we will choose not to close the range anymore ourselves. Wow, eight woo, we got a hit at eighteen kilometers. Seventeen, eighteen kilometers. At these ranges, this plunging fire is going to tear somebody up if we get a hit. 
Either one of these ships could be hooded in the worst way. I'm hoping that citadel I put on her will minimize that problem. But it would be exciting to see her, any of them blow up. It'd be more fun to watch the other guy blow up. Oh, uh, 26% chance to identify her, 3.2% chance to hit. Is she still working? No, she has turned to unmasked batteries. All right, it's coming down to a duel now. And for some reason, probably her maneuvering. Oh, goodness, how did I slow down like that? Pick up the pace. Okay. Uh, boy, I let her slow way down. Man, we've got great... Everything's in the green here. Still haven't identified this girl. girl. We want to kill her. It'd be nice just to kill her and never know what it was. But this range, I kind of doubt it. Battle cruisers, eggshells armed with hammers, and boy is she ever. 16 inch guns. I played this this old gal against a heavy cruiser and two destroyers when I first built her uh, this morning. And actually, that cruiser was heavily armed. And, uh, she put a couple of dinks on me that were pretty. Awkward. Wow. Wham. But, once the uh, Lex got the range, she was toast. About the time she decided to uh, slip beneath the waves, the destroyers were, well, got close enough to be seen. Woof, we are, yeah, this is not going to be a fair fight at all. The, uh, yeah, she's taking an engine hit and something else. So it looks like she's recovered part of it. The destroyer's lost a shoal of torpedoes that I just, by a whisker, avoided being hit by. And, uh, and then she mopped them up uh, in short order. She's really difficult to figure out what to do with a ship like this. She, she's neither fish nor fowl. You know, it, it, I, I wish the custom battle let us go uh, commerce raiding with her. You know, oh look, there's a bunch of transports or escorted by several destroyers, maybe a couple of cruisers, uh, and complicate your life trying to deal with all that and hit the. Uh, you just wonder if there's enough ammo for all of that. But at least so far. That's not in the uh, custom battle. Can't put transports in. Almost got her identified. But we're in secondary range now. Done. Got her. Alright, we've taken some probably secondary hits. Oh, that's loud. Come on, stop. Stop making all that crap. Because I want to pause and look at UGE, 35,000 tons. She's considerably smaller. Boy, is she fast. Up to 10 inches, almost 10 inches of armor, so she's better armored than we are. But the hit she has taken has torn her up already. She's lost one mount. She's taken an engine hit. So she's not going to be able to run away. All in all, I'd say this isn't going to be a uh, particularly fair fight. Which is okay, because the AI will do that to you, too. Alright, I'm trying to find a way to make that howling noise go away. How about if I go over here now? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we need to hear all these shells coming and losing in. 16% chance to hit to her 6.5. This will not last long. Oh! Man, we took an 8 inch, so if you got a secondary hit, start belt extended penetration, 17 inch. 
So you see, she's vulnerable to 8-inch fire, although it didn't hurt her much. I love watching the, just love watching the flashes on the horizon. If you're at all interested in this game, oh wow, oh wow. If you're at all interested in this game, go buy this thing. I think I've said it several times. I am not associated with these guys at all. I'm a member of their forum. I've never even posted there. God almighty. Make that noise go away. I've never even posted at their forums. But, there's just no way to do it. Except play. And I get, no, I, there's no affiliate program. I don't earn anything if somebody, you know, I don't get 10 cents if anybody buys this. But these developers deserve to be supported. It's just a beautiful thing they have going here. The forums are full of incredibly informed people that I learn a bunch from. And, uh, and I'm having more fun than I know what to do with. We're about to finish this girl off. It won't take much. Yeah, this is the this is the worst. Uh, this is most lopsided. Oh, we got a ten times the chance to hit her. She has to hit us. This is as lopsided in favor of the Lexington as it was against me the first time I played it against a much more modern battle cruiser that I. I think maybe even had radar because I was seeing this kind of crazy differential. Right now, the reason she doesn't have a good chance to hit is she's beat to hell. But, uh. Yeah, she just. I mean, I closed on her just to have a chance to hit her, and she tore me up. I hurt her. I, I hurt that bad old girl, but. You know, there was just no dealing with it. In this case, it looks to me like this, this one is maybe a generation behind. It'd be sweet if I could say, let me design both ships. and Because I kind of like to design a Congo or something. And uh, I can design a Congo. I just have to get to play the Japanese. What a great idea. What a great idea. I think I just thought of the next video. Okay. Or plant orange, baby. My phone is going ding, 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 and I don't know why. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this is a. Uh, how far out is she? There's probably a better way to do this. Help. Oh, look at that. She tells you the bulkhead she has. I think we just took... We're actually getting 6-inch hits on her now. Wow. 354. Stern deck extended penetration. Yeah, see, there's just not a lot of reason to close her. We've got... We've got a beat at a range that she can't even play. Thirteen inch guns. Which would hurt us big time and I think we if uh if it touched us. Boom. Well what that tells you is that this uh big old girl, my best guess Probably not a very good guess, but a best guess of what she would look like in game. Uh, facing what looks to be at least one generation earlier, uh, ship is just taking her apart. She she should be running away. Oh yes, she is running away. Which means I ought to be turning and chasing. How fast is she going? Twelve knots. Let's pick up the pace. Let's really pick up the pace because this is not a fight, it's just a murder. You can see all this maneuvering is really hurting my ability to hit as the turrets 
turn. But as soon as she settles down to a smooth, it's already happening. As she settles down, the uh, chance to hit increases. I'll tell you again, there's some fascinating discussions in those forums uh, at Game Labs. And uh, well worth reading. Still making 27 knots, which means we will be overtaking her quickly. 15 knot overtake. Back up over a 20% chance to hit. This will not last long. I wish I could save this. It's a pain to have to build her every time. Especially since when you change the year, it really alters things a bunch. I've had significant problems getting your design unless you hit the right combination of probably should have, uh, I don't know if I could, could even build her in 1920 so it's even though that boom even though I think that would be appropriate mid deck 430 she's just she's just getting spanked I wonder what would happen if I reduced her speed to the same speed. I wonder if that would change. Oh, it doesn't matter. She's going to go down before anything I do to affect the uh, outcome matters. Yeah, that's just murder. This has just been murder. Oh, 8 inch hit. Yeah, she's slowly slowing down. 50% chance to hit. Boom. She's going to... Uh, she is going to succumb momentarily. Uh, let's see. Just sit here and watch it happen from this point of view. Two percent structural. Any time now. It's a beautiful thing watching the ricochets. I think I just saw it was probably a six inch ricochet. Also, it's not nearly as frantic on normal time. Probably not reasonable, but it would just be a delight if the textures were uh, less generic. You know, this wrinkled hull. Oh! Oh! That was two 600 plus point hits. There's an issue there, I believe. What we're seeing is sections that are already destroyed taking damage and it's not affecting the total structure of the sh of the ship and uh, that ain't right but I'm sure they'll sort that out hey Lexington what if you switch to uh, HE pick up the pace again here they come. Oh, they got a hit on the Lex. 13 inch bow hit, extended penetration 85. She took a mid deck penetration 754. So, yeah, it's hitting previously destroyed sections and nothing's coming of it. Switch to HE, maybe we'll set it on fire. There it is. There it is. And there you go. Um, no, we won't play that again. Uh, I don't think there's a way to jump back in at this point. So this is what happens. If I jump back in to design ship... Yeah, I'm starting from scratch. I'm pretty sure the Japanese were using uh, 
unlock sign ship. I think that was the hull. For, yeah, I think they were using a Battle Cruiser 3 hull. Yeah, in the 30,000 ton range. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I babble on aim endlessly and aimlessly sometimes about this, but this game is really in an Alpha 3 is it's it's totally fascinating. I've spent my uh, spent my day off here sitting there this morning. It's around noon playing with this since I uh, got a cup of coffee about 6.30 up here and uh, and started fiddling with this to prep for uh, making this video. So uh, I, I, I'll say it again. If you find this at all interesting, go buy this thing. It's it's worth every bit. If nothing else, toss in, I think, $20, maybe $22, $23. It won't get you a copy of the game, but it'll get you a key when it comes out and help the devs out. But if you can afford it, spend the money and uh and get yourself a copy and uh and and jump in because it is just a straight up hoot so that's that hey as usual i appreciate you watching and i'll see you again real soon hey thanks for watching if you click on that picture of a very young was you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment see you again soon